Sandvik UH440i is a mobile cone crusher. It weighs in at nearly 50 tonnes and can output 350 tonnes of material per hour. This model of it from Conrad comes in a really nice box with a photo covering two sides. And it's good to see that another side of the box has information about the real machine on it. Inside the box is a pair of expanded polystyrene trays but they lack any kind of finger grips so it's a little bit difficult to get them out of the sleeve. There's no indication which tray is top or bottom so you have to play I feel lucky. Lift the lid and yes this time it's the right way up. It's a heavy model so you have to be careful lifting it out and not grab onto something that's too delicate. There's no information provided with the model and the only other thing in the box is a bag of small parts. For the assembly let's first bring the mobile crusher to the work site. And you can say straight away that it does make a very good transport load. For speed the Cranes Etc team use the giant hand crane to offload the crusher. And the smaller parts get unloaded using a 5 tine grab. Ok Mr Schmidbauer you can leave now. To get the crusher ready for work there are a few parts to fit including a lighting pole that fits over the engine covers. There's a beam that carries a sensor or camera for looking into the cone crusher. And lastly there are a couple of handrail sections and these fit onto the highest access platform. They are a reasonable fit into the holes and if they're pressed in firmly they stay in place. Looking underneath the first thing to notice is that the crawler tracks are plastic. But the colour match is very good so it's hard to tell. The track frames are reasonably detailed and the drive sprocket has detailing too. Both the undercarriage and the hopper structure are solidly made in metal, with the grey containment modelled in plastic. Inside the feed hopper the sides are lined with a rubber material to protect them, and there are deflector beams to protect the belt. The belt itself is modelled in good quality rubber. The inside of the cone crusher is nicely formed and on the outside walking surfaces are highlighted in black. One good aspect is that the handrails are all modelled in metal. The lighting column is nicely implemented with a good use of colour and the engine enclosure is a big chunk of metal with grills cast in. The main conveyor structure has also got some details in the casting and again the rubber belt is very good. <music> to get the crusher ready to work there's a couple of adjustments that we need to make. During transport between sites the feed conveyor is lowered to keep the headroom down. So on site it needs to be raised up so that it discharges into the cone crusher. This is controlled by a hydraulic cylinder and the whole mechanism is stiff on the model, but Conrad has engineered it well. At the other end of the machine the height of the discharge conveyor can be altered. There are plastic pins which hold it in place and when they're withdrawn the conveyor can be raised up and then repinned at a higher position. There are four different pinning positions and again this has been implemented well on the model. As on site this is a mobile crusher so how does it do in the cranes etc quarry? Well one clear advantage of the plastic tracks is that they do grip on a smooth surface so they roll well when you push the model along. Because the tracks have quite a rubbery feel they're not tensioned on the track frames. Moving on to some of the smaller features and there are some opening gates. And if you can hear a squeaking sound as it opens and closes just make sure there's not a mouse in the room. Moving to the opposite side of the machine is another opening gate but just like on the real machine there's a big jump down. One nice touch is that the cone crusher can be rotated, but don't put your finger in too far because it will be crushed to a pulp. The rubber belts on the model are nicely made and they can be rotated by using your fingers. That was the feed conveyor and this is the discharge conveyor. That's the tour of the features complete so let's go for a genuine imitation real life test. So here we'll load up the crusher with some rocks and see how it gets on. Now the first thing to say is that these idiots at the Cranes Etc team are using rocks that are much too large for this size of crusher. But never mind, let's humour them and see what happens. The conveyor belt works well and it dumps the rocks into the cone crusher. After imagining a few crusher noises let's see what we get out of the discharge belt. And amazingly the limestone rocks have turned into sand. This latest Sandvik model by Conrad is another very heavy piece of metal. It's solid and robust and reflects the real machine very well. The detail level is okay and the features work very nicely so overall it's highly recommended. 